Alright. We are moving on to the Hati Chakra, which is the solar plexus. The color of the chakra. Wow. Sorry, I just got immediate like notification that the the heart chakra <laughs> uploaded. Sorry. I didn't expect it to upload that fast. Damn spirit wants me to get this out now. Alright, the color is yellow, baby. The crystals are yellow citrine, amber, imperial topaz, uh, amber, and I already said amber, excuse me, a tiger's eye, oh my goodness. The metal is iron, and the scents that you can use for aromatherapy are rosemary, cedarwood, spearmint, sandalwood, and myrrh. Now I will say, I have had so much positive results with mixing rosemary with spearmint or rosemary with myrrh when i had my own like oil dispensary thing of uh, my air like aroma thing i i had all these oils and i would mix rosemary and spearmint and oh my god that would like that would clean so much like gunk out of me like if it, it like revived me basically and i had myrrh that I had myrrh incense that, like, I would use. I would use myrrh incense to cleanse as well because that's really good. So getting myrrh, getting these in incense, getting these in oils, bathing in these as well, it's the whole thing. The way scents work is it doesn't even matter. If you're going to take, like, a spiritual bath, get steamed water, but then let it cool off so that it not only has the aroma, but it also soaks all the oils from it and keeps it in the water so that you're actually bathing in it as well. And you need cold so that it doesn't, like, all soak into you or cause, like, any sort of bad reaction if you have any. It will be, it, it smooths it out. It allows it to be on the surface of the skin and, and slowly um, soak in. Y'all know what I mean. Uh, the planets of the solar plexus uh, or the uh, the Hati are Jupiter and Mars, and the note is E or three hundred twenty nine point sixty three hertz. The deity, Big Papa Ra, big man in the sun in the sky, you know him. We love Ra over here. Element, you couldn't guess it by now. Fire. <laughs> you know what I mean? Um, the mantra is Ram. Ram. You want to... Oh, damn. Okay, damn. I didn't expect that to come out. You want to accentuate the A. Um, affirmations is, I express my supreme vital energy. And a very good quote to remember is, always express your feelings. Now, the reason why... I needed this to be for the Hati and not the ah, the Ab is because when you express yourself, you enlighten your solar plexus. You listen to your gut when you express yourself because your feelings go from your heart to your gut. That's why if you get heartbreak, it hurts there. Whenever you get stressed out, you get stomach ulcers. Your heart and your gut are very important parts of the human body so when you're when you're stressing out those are the two chakras that you could work on the most to keep any sort of physical element from popping up um reflexology is the base of the palm or like the middle point where you have the indent you take your thumb and you do a counterclockwise or clockwise um i've i believe counterclockwise is feminine and clockwise is masculine for this chakra each chakra has their different different spins um if i i advise you to look deeper into that um that that's something that i'm not as educated to speak on but really look things up like that because it helps you because you're able to massage your areas in that type of way if you have an overactive or underactive overactive would be masculine underactive would be feminine you know what i mean um, and that also relates to the gender as well. So your chakras spin different counterclockwise towards gender as well. And that also embodies like the energy that you embody. All these things matter. Um, but yeah, it's the base of the palm, also the belly button and the second uh, thoracic. Um, the gland is the pancreas and the emotion is power we love power we love when our power comes from a pure source when our gut is no longer gunked up with all those and it's why it's important to detox as well because those fucking worms and 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 all sorts of gunk gets all in your in your stomach and then you feel bloated and when you get bloated you can't think that's why they say that's why it's good to fast a lot because when you when you starve the stomach you open the mind 
Um, that's why whenever you get stressed out, people stress eat because they can't clearly get through the stress. So they use their second gut, their stomach to use that stressful energy to digest the food. And sometimes it doesn't work that way. Sometimes you actually end up gaining more weight because of the stress eating because you're unable to digest and that leads to stomach ulcers and all sorts of issues please take care of your stomach this is coming from someone that has no gallbladder uh and no stomach lining please take care of your stomach that shit's so important <laughs> the realm of the hati is the toth realm which is the physical also known as the conscious and the low vibrational realm now we're at this point to where low vibration doesn't mean bad and mean. Low vibration just means physical. High vibration means spiritual. That's really all it means. We put so such hard terms on things, you know? So when you hear low vibrational, think physical. Think things that are going to affect the physical. When you hear high vibration, think things are going to affect the spiritual. When you're in high spirits, it's good. When you're in low spirits, you're dragging your feet and your head's on the ground. You know what I mean? Pay attention. <laughs> The foods are butter, egg yolk, carrots, sweet potatoes, pumpkin, bananas, pineapples, any melon, peaches, and lemons. Most of these foods are acidic <laughs> for reasons, you know? The, the acidic foods are good for the stomach. It helps clean, but don't overdo it, please. Um, do not overdo acidic foods. It's not good if you overdo it. The senses is control and power for the solar plexus. That's where you have all your power that's where you that's like not necessarily where you create but that's where you're able to put that action on the physical that's when you're actually able to put the masculine energy in, in, and move forward um the area that the that the hati affects is the liver the pancreas and the gallbladder <laughs> it's so funny you know i don't have one <laughs> Um, <laughs> when you have an underactive hati, uh, you are overbearing. You don't really know what to do. Um, same thing with an overactive, but the, but the difference between an underactive and an overactive is when you're underactive, you're not doing anything. This is the energy of sloth, if you will. You know, it's not being lazy because being lazy isn't a thing. That's like a 3D construct. We all need our breaks. We all have our limits. It is sloth. And that's the the true feeling we need to pay attention to is sloth, not laziness. Because laziness is just a way to make you feel self-conscious about yourself. So you keep working in the system. We're talking about sloth here. Okay? We're going to fix you. <laughs> <laughs> not that there's nothing, not that there's anything to be fixed, but we're going to make sure that you don't feel like you need fixed. I'll say that way better. That's a better way of saying it. All right. But when it's underactive, you're not working on anything. And it's because you have become overbearing to the point where you're not working on anything. The stress is become procrastinating on you. And it's squishing you down. It's condensing, compressing you. When it's an overactive, you got hyperactivity, you have a lot of ideas, but you also have burnout, constant burnout because of how much ideas you have, because of how much energy you have. If it's overactive, you're not using it right. An overactive uh, a hot tea can also affect your digestion. Um, having diarrhea can be a very, very high sign of that. And as well as delay off the acidic, acidic, acidic foods, excuse me. We have a disconnected hati which is stress and anxiety those really unbubbly feelings you know and a connected um hati is abundance even when you get butterflies in your stomach that is also a connected hati because you're able to feel that energy and how it can cultivate and how it can build you up from a masculine a physical standpoint rather than an emotional a uh feminine aspect um the associations with this are fearlessness, courage, willpower, uh, and material wealth. Your solar plexus is what defines your stability, basically. People want to say it's the root chakra, but I it's the hati for me because you can have an unstable root chakra and still create some shit. Let me tell you. But if you don't have that creation power, you're unstable completely. If you want to worry about your material shit, your material wealth, your material possessions, work on your hati, arat. Work on your solar plexus because that's where you're able to get the energy, the ideas, the power, the source, the pyre.
to do the things that you want to do. Um, and that's not to say that the that people who say that the root chakra is for that is wrong. Of course, it's the same thing. Like they relate. It, you can have relations. So please, when you hear me say these things, if it makes you say, no, that's not right because this chakra does it. You can work two jobs. So why can't your chakras? <laughs> you know what I mean? You could have multiple responsibilities. So why can't your chakras? You know, don't be don't be a hypocrite about it. I love I you know, I'm joking when I say that. So don't be mad. You know, I'm joking. OK. <laughs> but 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 really it is a lot to do with your material wealth because if you don't believe and and have that energy of i can and i will then it simply will not be and that comes from the hot tea the solar plexus the fire within baby <laughs> um but yeah that is the hot tea chakra y'all know the drill everything's in the description this one's a little shorter because I feel like a lot of the hot tea chakra has been healing a lot. A lot of people have been stepping into their power. And if not, you're just very aware of where your power stands. Um, I'm letting the divine really guide me through these things uh, and while channeling messages from them and everything. And it really just feels like the, the hot tea chakra. Y'all know a lot about it. You understand that it's the energy point, but there's just some things that needed to be overviewed. And of course, this is just small lessons to help guide you all along your own journey. So take what applies, let the, less, let, let the rest fly, let your curiosity take you on the adventure that it needs to. Y'all know the drill. Everything's in the description. I love you all so much. To the moon and back, tenfold and forever. Thank you all so much for just being here. And I will see you later.